So are you thinking about getting an electric unicycle? I mean, if you have managed to find your way into my little silly channel, then I say that you're well on your way in discovering this awesome sport that I find it personally to be absolutely life-changing. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the basics of electric unicycle if you're thinking of getting one, as well as some of the things that you should know when you're search for your very first EUCs. This week, part one of my introduction to electric unicycle. Are you ready for some EUC 101? Roll the intro! If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new episodes. I imagine right now you may feel a little bit like Alice tumbling down the rabbit hole that is YouTube with insane videos of people flying down the street at incredible speed on nothing more than a single wheel seemingly in defiance of the laws of physics. In this part of the intro to EUC, I'll tell you why an electric unicycle actually makes great sense, give you a bit of a background on where it came from, whom are the major EUC companies, and the differences between their offering, and finally suggestion on what you should look for in your first electric unicycle. First of all, yes, an electric unicycle may not be an obvious choice for electrification since it is, after all, one of the slower means of mechanical transportation in the first place, and I am sure some of the earlier attempts were made as much out of a curiosity as a strange experiment as a uh, attempt at making a practical transportation. But the self-balancing algorithm changed all of that since it gave an EUC practically the same amount of stability as a two-wheeled bicycle. You only need to balance side to side with the gyro motor handling balance forward and back. That same design accommodated a lean base control scheme and eliminated the need for remote or throttle of any kind and allows the UC to be truly hands-free. There are no throttles or brake lever of any kind. Instead, you control the wheel based on nothing more than your body position and weight distributions. And once you get a hang of it, with practice, it does become second nature. As a matter of fact, for me at this point, it feels almost as natural as walking. In addition, EUC is also one of the simplest personal electric vehicle available. All it needs is a wheel with a hub motor, batteries, and a controller to modulate power output, and that's about it. Because of that, they're more compact than any other motorized transport, but yet pack larger motors and bigger battery despite their size. Less parts also means less maintenance and less headaches. And of course, it's not all teddy bear and roses. There are sound downsides. For instance, they're a lot harder to learn. After all, they're unicycles. And I'll get more into the learning part of the electric unicycle experience in part two of my introduction video. But for now, let's focus on the task at hand, which is how to get your hands on that very first one. Now, unlike electric scooters, there's actually very few companies that build EUCs that's actually worth buying, in my opinion. Just four of them currently, and they are Emotion, Kingsung, Gotway, and finally Veteran. Now, Naibot also used to produce electric unicycle. However, they have gone out of the business over the past two years, and so I don't really include it on the list anymore. Each of these companies tends to have different focuses when it comes to their product, and without getting into the specific wheels, which would make this video far too long, I'll give you some general backgrounds on each company as well as how they should be relevant to someone starting out. First, we have Emotion who are currently the largest and most established EUC manufacturers on the list. And it shows in their products. Their wheels tend to be more refined and polished in comparison to the others, but they also tend to be the most conservative in terms of performances. 
Their latest product, the V11, did buck the trend with a higher top speed and a suspension system, but it is still more focused on convenience and safety. And second, we have Kingsong, who actually used to be known as a company for producing wheels that has excellent trolley handle of all things, which is actually an incredibly important feature for EUCs. They also shared a similar conservative approach as Emotion with a lower top speed and a generally durable and practical build. Previously not particularly known for exciting design, they did flip the formula last year with the S18. But the other models remain solid and safe choices. And third we have Gotway, who likes to be called Big Gold right now. Now they have been known as the original performance EUC builder and so offer some of the fastest, torquiest, and most powerful electric unicycle. Unfortunately, they're also known to have some of the worst quality control and safeguard in place for their wheel. And as a result, I generally don't recommend anyone new who's looking to get into electric unicycle to buy a Godway wheel as their very first. As you need a solid background understanding of not just how to ride an electric unicycle, but also how to maintain one in order to own one safely, anything is possible, of course. But if you're thinking of buying your kids a very expensive Christmas gift, you should absolutely avoid Gotway. And finally, Veteran whom despite being the newest entrance to the market lineup may actually be the most well known given the amazing success that they have saw with their very first uh, wheel, the Sherman. And aside from Gotway, they are the other performance-oriented electric unicycle manufacturer. And as exciting as all of that sounds, I also recommend that you avoid them starting out, not because of any perceived problems with their product, but the sheer amount of basic skills required just to ride it competently means that you're going to make your life a lot harder trying to learn how to ride with it. Well, now that you have a little bit more background on what kind of wheel each of the EUC company actually produce, the question remains, what wheel should you buy? All right, so this is the less than exciting answer that a lot of time people don't want to hear. But the best electric unicycle you can choose to learn how to ride is actually a used wheel. The specific model that you go with almost don't matter. Now there are a few basic requirements that you should be aware of and I will talk about it a little bit later. This is not what I expect to see. Oh this is, I didn't even know there's a plank parent to it here. <laughs> you do bump into all kind of unexpected thing here. Don't mean to all of a sudden get political on you. <laughs> Sorry. But one of the unique thing about EUCs are that a wheel's performances is as much a function of its capabilities as the rider's riding skill. Unlike a motorcycle or a car where anyone could just twist the throttle or step on the gas to get it to go to warp speed, the amount of balance required means that it is likely unsafe or flat out impossible for someone starting out to even try to hit the speed limit on most electric electric unicycle available. And in other words, buying a high performance electric unicycle to use as your very first learner wheel would likely make your learning experience that much tougher. Since high performance wheels usually incur additional penalties such as significantly higher weight as well as lesser maneuverabilities. And as a result, it's far more likely for you to be focusing on the wrong thing rather than what you really should be thinking about which is technique and balances. The other thing you should keep in mind are that until you have some actual ride experience underneath your belt, it is very hard for you to really gauge the kind of rider you are. Electric unicycle have developed enough where different models now have very different sweet spots. Their wheels optimized for off-road, for commute, or for all-out speed. 
and it's far more important for you to figure out what it is that you enjoy the most about riding an electric unicycle so that when it comes time for you to plop down a big chunk of cash for that bleeding edge brand new awesome amazing electric unicycle you really buy a wheel that fit your riding style the ideal first wheel should also be something relatively recent Things change really quickly in the bleeding edge EUC world and anything more than two to three years old are all but obsolete. You should also stick with something relatively light, ideally a 16 inch wheel since lighter and smaller diameter wheels are generally more maneuverable and easier to make corrections with. Now if you live somewhere where there is an active EUC community, there are often learner wheels that have gone through a few hands and those are perfect. They're ugly to look at but that also means that you won't be bummed if you dropped it a hundred times during your learning process and you'll likely be able to sell it for close to your purchase price when you're ready to move on. And I get that this isn't as exciting as being able to go out and buy the latest and greatest shiny new gadget <laughs> things which we all certainly love to do. However, I do promise you that buying the right wheel will make a huge difference not only making your learning experience that much more enjoyable as well as do so safely which is incredibly important and always remember it's always better to focus on the technique rather than the buzz now if a used wheel isn't easily available then i would stick with any of the current crop of lightweight 16 inch two years old wheel like the kingsong 16x or are the Emotion VAF, both excellent options and you can even keep them as a lightweight short range grocery running wheel even after you upgrade to something bigger. Keep in mind that even these starter wheels are capable of far greater speeds than you'll likely be comfortable riding at for some time so you shouldn't have to worry about outgrowing them anytime soon. And you should also think of the speed limitation as yet another safety feature. Heck, I rode my IPS i5 which had a 12 miles per hour speed cap for a solid three months before I even consider switching to a faster wheel. So I think that there is little reason for you to feel the need to rush to a larger wheel either. Anyhow, I hope that had been helpful and I'll be happy to answer any question you may have in the comment section below. <laughs> Oh man, look at the time. I somehow managed to waste another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheels is to grow as a community. So tell your friends and teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you.